The cadets gather at the world-famous Snack Shack for a tasty lunch on Sunday before Kent Osborne's writing workshop. Are you excited for your workshop? Yeah. Are you prepared? Yeah, I think so. Good. I got a lot of, a lot of materials, a lot yeah. of treats, tricks and treats. Ooh, I like it. It's going to be fun in the rain. Yeah, dude. It's going to be a good one. In the rain. It's going to be a good morale boost for today. Yeah. This is for you, Squatch. For me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Happy Snack Shack Day to you. This is Squatch's happy place, his favorite place on the planet Earth. And truly what draws him back to Go Scout training camp every year. Just to get a nibble at the Snack Shack. Eat the, eat the camera. Snack Shack. Squatch Matrix. Let me demonstrate how to eat a fried mushroom. At the Snack Shack. In his element. Ooh. Ooh. Ew, <laughs> Very <laughs> informative. <laughs> Tell us what you got. Tell us what you got here. I got a Manhattan sub. Which is? Roast beef. That's you. Cheese. Garlic bread. Woo, on garlic bread. And garlic mushroom fries. Wow, Candies, very powerful. Ooh, this boy knows how to snack shack. Three hour nap. You practically, in, lunch. you practically invented the snack shack, dude. Practically did. You projected it here. I think my name's on the, on the front. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that good? Oh. What do you think about that? Oh, That's <laughs> is it? Oh. <laughs> Look at these tasty, tasty morsels. Mm. Damn. What do we got over here? Bam. Snack shacking it up. How is it, gang? Clean plate club. Ooh, clean plate club. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at this. Mm, ice cream. Because I was in first class. Yeah, I know. Because he was in first class. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, welcome to uh, How to Write and Start Words for Fun and Profit with Ken Osborne. Yay! Um, I do want to start just by, before we start, uh, yeah, I want to say that I'm like kind of nervous to be doing this, even though I've done it a couple times, but, um, uh, it does feel weird to like try to talk about art or talk about creativity with people that are really creative, uh, already. So if I'm saying anything that's like, if you know already or it's boring, you know, you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, yeah, I really want to just like... I know, like, it's exciting that I worked on Adventure Time and that I have, like, won two Emmys. But I want you guys to, like, not think about that. Like, I want you to think of me uh, as, like, an equal. And uh, I don't know. I just think it's important because I, I, I think of you guys as, as my equal. Um, and, uh, I got a package for uh, Ken Osborne. Uh, oh, yeah. He's right over there. What's up, bro? Um, yeah, like, I just think it's important that you guys don't be, like, don't think about me as, like, right here. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, just important, uh, if we're really gonna learn anything today, um, you know, don't. Think of me as like two time Emmy winner Ken Osborne. Like, don't think of me as like 11 time nominated Ken Osborne, you know, who worked on SpongeBob uh, for four years, worked on Phineas and Ferb, uh, Gumball, regular show, um, Camp Laszlo. Like, try not to think about Camp Laszlo. <laughs> uh, and of course, eventually. Like, don't think about. Uh, 
Don't think about any of that. Like, just think of me as, like, Kent, like, the guy you've been hanging out with all week. Um, you know, I'm camping in a tent just like you guys, and I'm getting up and exercising. Um, I don't know. I just think that's important. All right, maybe I'm just, like, maybe I'm being stupid right now by saying all that. But if you can, just, like, really don't think of me as, like, that I won two Emmys. Like, come on. Like, stop it. Enough with that. Um, I know we've been joking around about it. Uh, all right, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. How much was that? It was a dollar. Oh, I should have got a dollar for you. Okay. Uh, anyways, all right, good. You take pictures of the board. Now. <laughs> uh, and that's the workshop. All right, great workshop. Great workshop. All right. Into the show and like. You know, you start to run out of episodes. You're like, okay, we can't do this because we already did one about jealousy. And we can't do an episode uh, about this because we already did, like, a competing one. Like, that's too similar to that. Like, it's so hard to think of, like, new ideas. Uh, so we start playing writer's games. Uh, and so one of the games we play is uh, everyone sits around a table just like this. We'll, we'll, we'll do this later. Uh, everyone gets a piece of paper, and you have a couple minutes to do a drawing. And you can draw anything you want. The idea is not to, like, think about it and just kind of get it down as fast as you can. And then you hand it to the person next to you, and so you get a drawing. And then you have a couple of minutes just to write a story based on whatever that drawing is. Uh, so someone hands you that. This was, uh, Tom Herpick did this for a writer's game, and it's like Finn delivering a sandwich to Jake, who's like a brick in the wall. And, uh, and yeah, this turned into an episode. This turned into Jake the Brick. Turned into a, a Emmy winning. An Emmy winning episode. Yeah. Don't forget that part. Yeah, <laughs> this one. Uh, it says, Act 1, Finn walks up to a small ramshackle brick structure in an otherwise bucolic glade. Jake is one of the bricks. He has turned to brick shape and filled uh, and filled in a brick-shaped hole at some undetermined time in the past. Finn asks if Jake is sure he still doesn't want to come home. Jake says, nah, he's going to stay a brick for a while. This old shack is going to fall down soon. Jake wants to see what it feels like to be a brick in a brick shack when the brick shack falls down. Finn's too young. He wouldn't understand. Finn says Jake is right. He doesn't understand. But he's cool with Jake's mystical journey or whatever it is. Still, he's going to leave a walkie-talkie so they can stay in touch. So that's beat one. Another uh, episode that's being voice recorded that week. You have another episode that's being... Uh... You have another episode that's being... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what was it? I'm going to sleep in class. Detention. <laughs> Loves all them lady panties. <laughs> One glorious day, he thought of the idea to produce a panty perfume, perfume, with all the godly sense of female genitalia. <laughs> Just had to record this one. <laughs> Test your faith. Test your faith. Let me skim it first. <laughs> but his efforts repulsed everyone. And no one believed it could be done. His research efforts <laughs> land him in jail. There he meets his mentor who tells him it can't be done. Or it can be done. But his mentor, Sir Boner Balls, <laughs> has been locked up for centuries for sniffing the Queen's royal undergarments. <laughs> he had been in jail so long that he was most that he was not familiar with the current penny trends. For the rest of their sentences, he told his mentor about all the newest inventions in the panty world. Who was the writing team on this? You wrote that yourself, Squatch? That was a dream you had? They did! That was a dream you had? They did!
Let's just put the skin on over the head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I like that one. Yeah, yeah that's, so that's, good. that's so good. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Slapper. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. What? Love this one. <laughs> Take nice picks. Take nice picks. Or who's the scanner? Max has a scanner, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's in my tent though. There's a scanner up here. Oh, there is? Mm-hmm. Put them down there in the, in the cabin. Oh. Hey, we gotta get all these scanned. Yeah. yeah. Good to be telling. This is like the best way. <laughs> Yeah, I want to feel that end. The shark one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, both. 